Good evening. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to A Dash of Salt. I'm your host, Elder Patrice Craig Green, and as always, thank you. Thank you so very much for tuning in on this Monday. I pray that your day was wonderful, and I hope that you enjoyed the broadcast. Before we go any further, we have the the rules of the house, really. First, we just give God the honor. We thank him for everything that he's doing, everything he's done, and we know without him, none of this will happen. So we give him the ultimate praise, and we just bless God. We bless God for our covenant partners, Prophetess Ava, and everybody out in Radio Land that prays and contacts me. I appreciate you, and I love you, and I'm humbled that you continue to stick with me these last two years. One footnote, um, first, congratulations to Lady Sue Spence on yesterday launching um, the We Church in Nightdale. We drove there, myself, Wilma, and one of my dear friends, Missionary Richardson, and we enjoyed the service. We want to say a big shout-out to Dr. Jackie Gates. We met her down at Apostle Hennett's Church at the luncheon on Saturday down in Benson. We just had a great weekend. We met some awesome men and women of God, and we just bless God for the connection and the fellowship. We also want to remind you, next year, 2019, June 7th through June 10th, we are taking Sister Keeper. We have thrown our net on the other side of the boat, and we are cruising Please check out the Facebook page. The cabins are moving fast. This is a boat that is highly recommended by all of the cruise lines. Royal Caribbean has pulled this boat, and we're looking forward to it. You can make your deposit now and make your payments all the way up to April 2019. My sister's keeper navigating my next. We have Apostle Nicole Bond and Lady Sue Spence, and other prophets and pastors who have committed themselves to come on the boat. We're going to have a good time. We're going to take the boat over. So we mean business. So please don't play with this. Make your deposit so you can lock in your room, because I would hate to be saying bon voyage to you, and we're on our way to Nassau, Bahamas. So without further ado, those are all the notes. As you know, I love to fly through the notes because I get excited when I have one of my guests that are, all my guests, first of all, are my friends. But when it's my dear friends that stick with me, encourage me, and love on me and allow me to love on them, it's just a special, special blessing, especially when the broadcast is yours. You can do whatever you want. So I am excited, excited to have this young lady. She is an awesome, awesome woman of God. I am learning something new about her every time we talk. I just learned that she could sing, and I'm really upset because if I knew that, I would have thrown her the mic in April. Oh, yes, I would. But without further ado, I am honored and privileged and pleased and excited in everything. Everyone, Minister Sophia Russell, soon to be Sophia Hall. Sophia. Amen. God bless you, yes. Elder Patrice. Yeah, yes. super excited. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, it was okay. I didn't need a mic toss. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And you you slipped that on me but as soon as I knew. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, you know, you should have seen my face. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay. And I just want to let everybody yeah. know, this month is I'm That Chick Month, and I am having women on here that um, have really touched my heart in the theme process of, or the thought process, may I say, of I'm That Chick. I have asked Minister Sophia to come on because I feel highly that she's like the ultimate I'm That Chick. Let me give y'all the example because she doesn't even know what I'm going to say. When I had Sister's Keeper in April, um, a lot of times, not a lot of times, all the time I always pray for the, the, the guests to come, the speakers, who I'm going to have, because I just, I really want it to be an effective conference, not only for the women, but for the men. And this year, God blessed me. All the conferences have been wonderful, but this year, God blessed me to allow the scheduling for Apostle Nicole Bonds and for uh, Pastor uh, Tillman to come, Lady Tillman to come. Um, and speak, and it was awesome. And whenever you do conferences, you always start out with this team. Well, the team kind of like dwindled on me, and people that I really thought they were going to be there um, 
We're not, which is fine because things happen. But this young lady right here, I knew she was coming to support her pastor, which I expect because she's that chick. (laughs) But she didn't realize she was going to have to work, too. So I thank God that not only did she come the night that her apostle spoke, but then she turned around and came the next night, too, to support. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said I wanted to have you on the show because – Through it all, you didn't have a problem. You took the mic and you emceed. And now since I know you could sing, we're going to flash forward back. (laughs) (laughs) So that's why I'm having her on the show, because I want people to see the importance of covenant relationships. And she is an ultimate example of women that support women, period, period, regardless. You know, and and that's what I love about you since I've met you. I had the honor of hearing you. I don't like to use the word trial sermon because there was no trial. Mm -hmm. You preached that thing like you lived it, and it was ultimate, Mm -hmm. and God showed up, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I just want your input on how you feel as far as the covenant relationships, especially with this I'm being I'm this chick month, Um, what Mm -hmm. you're seeing as the agreement or whatnot. You can just, you know, throw your hand in there. (laughs) Okay, okay. Yeah, um so if we can so I'm I'm gonna just flow how I do. Um so just dealing with the word covenant in itself. Um mm-hmm. so in the Greek I'm gonna go there real quick for the learners that are listening. So um for, in the Greek the word is diatheca and the word is more so and I'll just break this down and not get into like a real long theologian thick, um definition. But it just means like it's a one sided promise. Right, mm-hmm. so we've seen that with God, with Noah, with God, with Abraham. So it just kind of was like it seemed like you know this is my promise that I'm making to you. But the awesome thing about those who spoke Greek, they had another definition that was widely used for the word covenant, and that definition or that word actually is sun theca. But when you look at dia, um, that piece, like I just told you, is more one sided. But the sun part, the sun theca, is about a bilateral agreement. Right. Mm. And so um, when we look at covenant relationships, it's a bilateral agreement that I'm not only promising to be your fellow um, steward in the gospel or your sister. I'm going to just break it down that way um, Mm -hmm. to be your sister. But I'm really, really your sister. And Mm -hmm. it's not because I'm looking for you to do something for me, but because I know you're already in covenant relationship with God that I know Mm. that. Because I'm in covenant relationship with God and I'm in covenant relationship with you, then it's going to be without, you know, without us even speaking that agreement was going to be there, that agreement is already there, right? Um, right. Because we, cause we love our sisters as we should love ourselves. And mm-hmm. part of that love is for me to show it. You know, you can, you know, love not in word only, as the scripture tells us, but in deed and in truth. So if I tell you, Patrice, I love you, girl, I love you, girl, you know, and I see you posting flyers about things, um, I see that, you know, you're doing th- different things, and all I do is hit like, hello, somebody. Like, on, love man. shows up, all right, love shows up in action form. And, and a lot of people, I tell you very, right now, Pastor Lisa, and I love her, um, she says presence, you know, that says a lot for her. That says a lot for a lot of people, right? Um, mm-hmm. But that does mean a lot because if, if you tell me I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there, and then you never show up or you never tell anybody else about it, mm, mm. then I'm questioning your covenant with me. Ooh, ooh, and I'm also going to question your covenant with God. And I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that to be funny, but it's like, you know, I am a representative. I'm God's vessel on the earth realm. So if you call mm-hmm. me your sister and we have this relationship, then, you know, what does that really look like? Um, and so just covenant for me starts there. Like, what is your heart and what's the intention behind it? Um, and what, you know, am I supporting you because I'm looking to be supported or am I supporting you because I, you know, I see the vision that God has given you and I'm going to support that vision. You know, I'm going to be mm-hmm. your vision runner. And mm-hmm. um, when you talked to me about the topic, one thing that came to mind was, you know, some of our sisters are trailblazers. Right. Mm. And but everybody can't handle your fire. Mm -mm. And so, Mm -hmm. you know, it's a thing of 
some people are actually going to run with you, and then some people are not. Like it, when you are on that trail and you're blazing that trail, you'll know who's with you because they're going to push you to keep going yes. forward, push you to keep going yes. forward. Um, and I think oftentimes as women, we need to realize, like, there are women out here that want to support you, that want to uplift you, but you got to open up your mouth and tell folks what you're doing. Yes. And I think yes. healing is a large part of that, too, because, you know, because of a past experience or because, um, even a childhood experience where you've seen maybe the women in your family, right, the matriarchs never really trusted anybody. And so you grew up with that, and the mentality is I can't trust women. And then the yeah. first one that does something wayward is I told you, you know, I, you know, like I told you, and then they shut down. But mm-hmm. um, two are better than one. Ecclesiastes tells us that, right? And yeah. so if that means, and that's Old Testament. I can tell you New Testament, you know, New Testament, Jesus sent them out two by two. Come on. If that's the case, then Jesus would have never chose the 12 disciples. And if you divide 12, oh, okay, somebody. So even with that, <laughs> right, so it was never meant for anyone to be alone to try to do this work that God has given you alone. And, yeah, we do see prophets in Scripture that, you know, we got Elijah, he's out there, he's like, okay, I'm the only one. But, you know, God reminded him, no, you're actually not. There's other prophets, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but from that story, I think what's great is that, okay, well, how do you connect with other people that have the same anointing that you have? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, how do you create those relationships? Um, and I think that's an important thing for um, the body of Christ, and especially for sisters, to realize, mm-hmm. like, you know, if preaching is your thing, but singing is mine, then guess what? For this service, I'm going to sing heaven into existence for the come saints on. so that you can come through and preach this good word, right? Mm, and that's right, a, that's that right. bilateral agreement, you know? Yes, I'm yes, planting the mm-hmm. seed, but you coming behind me to water it, and it's God mm-hmm. that's going to get the increase when this is all over. And so I mm. think that taking that mindset and shifting it is what's going to be really, really important as um, – you know, we as women, as sisters, move forward in the gospel. And there are times, like, you know, you might meet people that have, like, 15 degrees that you don't have. Okay, but mm-hmm. that doesn't mean you're less anointed. But being able True. to tell your sister, hey, listen, you know, I see, you know, affirming what you see in your sister, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I ain't saying make up stuff, but be honest. Be honest, you know, and, and keep speaking, you know, because, you know, some people, some people do that, and it's not good. That's not healthy. Um, no, but affirm not. and, you know, affirm what you see in your sister and keep pushing her forward. Now, um, and then, and be, and have patience until she gets there. Come on. You know, on. have patience. I think patience is a really good, important key, too. I don't know if this is. is a point thing, but I feel like that's the second point for y'all. Um, <laughs> but have some, you know, have some patience, right? Um, right. While while she's getting it together, you know, yeah, while that yeah. transition is happening. You know, um, this is a really good thing. And my sister, I got a sister in South Carolina. Um, she's actually my bestie and just amazing. Woman that I have seen me come from many several stages of my spiritual journey. And the yes. one thing that I can say on this this whole journey is that she mm-hmm. stuck with me. Ain't that something? The whole entire Ain't that time. Something. My okay. good, bad, ugly, you know, she I don't, She never said this to me, but I promise you it might have been a period where she was like, Are you still say, baby? You know, so, mm-hmm. but I was we she still stuck with me. She, all right? And we do. Absolutely we do. We um, <laughs> Absolutely do. Um <laughs> And so she stuck with me, right? But along mm-hmm. the journey, I've met other sisters. I, I'll tell you yes. this. I was in divinity school, um, mm-hmm. second year in almost, going into my yeah. second year. And I said to God, you know, God, this is new for me because I came from mm-hmm. a space where, you know, women women didn't preach, women can do things in ministry, things like that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, so help me understand this calling that you put on my life and mm-hmm. connect me with other women of God. Mm. That, you know, and I said in true friends. Yes. So, as true always, friends. you know, you get the true friends, and you know, yes. when that happens, you get you get the counterfeit before you get the real thing. I'm gonna just put that there. Yes. But it's okay. Yes. But but even in that, and I'm gonna say this, even in that, God showed me a different way of loving. Yeah, yeah. And still loving beyond. I promise you, if 
any of those ladies that, you know, I met during that cycle of my life call me to this day and say, hey, Sophie, I need X, Y, Z, I'll be like, okay, where you at? What you need? Absolutely. And it's because, it's not because of Sophia. It's because Mm -hmm. of the love of Christ that dwells in me. Mm. And I think that's a lot of things, like, people have to realize, it's what's, what's dwelling in you. You know, Jesus tells us not what goes in a man, but what comes mm-hmm. out in the drought. Like, so what's coming mm-hmm. out of you? It's not so much what you, you know, you're talking about, I study every day. I'm, you know, I'm the teacher of Sunday school. Okay, that's great. But on, what are you putting out? Are you putting Come out on. what you are studying? Are you putting out what you're teaching? That that are makes a difference. Are you co-signing on it? <laughs> All right. You know, so that that makes a, a big difference um, so that we don't just, we're not full of words, but our actions match it. And the other beautiful thing is that there are opportunities like, you know, I support now. You know that and several other sisters out there that know. That's just, you know, that's the thing with me. Um, mm-hmm. And I do that because it makes a difference. And I heard this when I first started preaching that it feels good to see a face, a familiar face in the crowd. Yeah. Um, and I do that because, you know, there's oftentimes where people are like pushing, 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 and they're like, okay, God, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, but I don't feel supported. Yeah. Um, and they, you know, and it just may be that one person in the audience out of like 5,000 people that they mm-hmm. see, and that makes a difference. It could be a room full of people. Mm-hmm. But that one person that told them that they were in covenant relationship with them, that they, mm-hmm. you know, believed that that was true, um, was there for them. And, you know, sometimes it may not be there. Like, I can support you by sending you money. You got to mm-hmm. go preach in New York. Well, maybe I can't make it in New York. But what I can do is, you know, <laughs> buy your hotel room, you know. Come or, on, like, if you're flying on. and, I, you know, God made it so that I have the abundance or I can just call three sisters real quick and say so-and-so is going to preach, um, mm-hmm. I want we want to support her, then mm-hmm. us three can put our money together and buy her a plane ticket. Now, See. granted, we probably going to question that because whoever's house she's going to should figure out how to take care of the woman of God before she gets there. But, you know, that's another whole nother radio another, station and topic that's, for that's another, another day. <laughs> Listen, that's all right, that's, take care of the, that's take that's care of people of God. That's the I'm just saying, that's that's take care of the people of God. <laughs> Come on. That's what Galatians tell right. you to do now. That's what Galatians mm. said, that we got to take right. care of the household of faith. Come on now. Yes, <laughs> yes. You know, that's it right there. So, and, and you know, um, no, so, you, open, mm-hmm, go ahead. you open a door when you said take care, because when you're in covenant, you take care of each other. Because one mm-hmm. thing I can say, when I have called you and to ask you to do certain things, example, I can be transparent. I can't do the letters. And when people are mm-hmm. asking for professional letters, they're going to get what Patrice sent. But the Lord dropped you in my spirit, and you popped that letter out so smooth that I sent it Mm -hmm. to myself. (laughs) 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 Because that was the prettiest letter. And I was like, I'm going to put my name in it. And I went to the mailbox, and there it was, the letter you popped up (laughs) for me. (laughs) But the point I'm trying to make is because we're (laughs) in relationship, I could come to you and you weren't too busy. You popped that letter out in three minutes and it was a pay. It was full of correct verbs. There was no verb cracks. There was none of that ebonics. There was none of the, none of none of, the, none of them tree sisms. Okay? And I was my like, and I the letters to my speakers, but I sure did. I turned around and mailed that letter right to, and bought a card and put it in there because that letter was <laughs> off the but I say all that to say when we're in covenant, we use, just like you said, you can sing, somebody can preach. You know, that's the best mm-hmm. feeling. I have been out when I've had people with me that when they sang, they opened up the atmosphere. They don't even realize the preach mm-hmm. couldn't come until they open up that portal. And they get right. so caught up that they feel they're supposed to be somewhere else when you don't even know your flow. You do your flow. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. some of your sisters would do that because you've encouraged yeah. them. And now since mm-hmm. I know you can sing, guess what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, to mm-hmm. God be the glory. Amen. Mm-hmm. She gets it all. I sing under the anointing. Right. <laughs> Honey, you sing period. Under the care. anointing. <laughs> <laughs> Mic check, one, two, three. One, two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so the other thing I was going to say, you actually right in the vein of what I was going to bring up, 
about mm-hmm. um, there are uh, so scripture based in First Corinthians, right? Um, uh-huh. Tells us that there are many members for this one mm-hmm. body. Yes. And so um, one of my gift things is in administration. That's kind of the thing. It's like, you know, I do it. It's not a problem. Um, but there may be an area where I'm not as strong in, but I know that, you know, you are awesome at getting me a connection. Listen, I'm like, mm-hmm. hey, Patrice, I need, I need literally. Um, so I'll tell the saints I got this that are listening. So I was um, planning a conference for this year. Um, God mm-hmm. gave me the mm-hmm. thought what was that end of December um and I toured with it really probably longer than I was supposed to but um toured with it and um shared it with my my sisters and they were like okay Mm -hmm. they met with me and let me tell you this I'm gonna tell you this full story thank you God um come on they met with me they met with me planning meetings all that had a sister in South Carolina you know asked I was sending out messages, you know, letting sisters know, like, hey, this is what, you know, God gave me. This is what I'm, um, the vision, blah, blah, blah. You know, talked to my uh, pastor about Apostle Nicole um, mm-hmm. and just shared it, you know. And, but the thing about it is my lesson in all that <laughs> is it was two parts. <laughs> One, um, it was not so much the timing, but I think mm-hmm. it was God wanting to see if I was going to do it. One, mm. two. Yeah. It was also a moment to show me who my sisters were. Come on, come on. And I mean, when I say women of God, that I probably don't talk to that often. We might talk like once a month, something like that. Or I hadn't seen them since I graduated, or they graduated from school. Um, mm-hmm. But they were sharing stories with me. So the um, the name of the conference. Um, I'm not going to share that because I believe that God is still giving me that vision. So, amen, yes, that's my yes, vision so. around with to God amen, before. Amen. But I will tell you all <laughs> the um, the organization that's putting it on, amen. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. So it was with Circle of Sisters, and literally mm-hmm. that's what it was about, a Circle of Sisters coming together to put this com- conference on for um, for other sisters. And amen. so, um, which is an awesome, awesome thing, an awesome vision. Oh, my God, awesome vision. But the beautiful thing is in the preparation and when I was meeting different women and I was like, well, you know, this is a topic of discussion and, you know, God led me your way. And um, mm-hmm. and they were like, wow, it's funny that you would say that. And they began to share their story with me. And I was just like, mm-hmm. Gee, my God, that and, you know, is so great. And but the thing about it is when it didn't happen, I'm going to tell you, too, I know me, you know, when God gives me something and it don't happen and I kept hitting this wall and I was just like, I don't understand. I don't get it. You know, yeah. um, just nothing seemed to be coming in place. And I was like, I don't get it. Like, what's wrong? You know, yeah. and yeah. my sisters, you know, but they were there. Mm-hmm. They were there. And even mm-hmm. when it didn't happen, nobody came to me and said, okay, Sophie, well, you moved your feet too quick. Or, um, you know, I told you you should have waited. Like, nobody came at me, you know, and if they thought it, they, you know, they thought I ain't know it, and God didn't give me the discernment to pick up on it. So I'm gonna just say <laughs> that nobody came to me, nor did they have the thought that mm-hmm. of those things or anything negative, right? But mm-hmm. they were more, they loved on me, and they were just mm-hmm. like, you know, okay, well, keep us in the loop, and that was it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and and that's because they have an understanding of how God flows, mm. and how like. Because when we think about it, mm, that's good. So our yes, feet it is. are plant. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a yeah. moment. Um, but if our feet, Psalms 1, so if our feet are planted by the size of the, of the river, right? That right. river is never still. It's mm-hmm. never still. Never. But our feet are planted. Mm-hmm. We are, mm-hmm. We're planted, though. Mm-hmm. Like, we're planted, mm-hmm. though. And so no mm-hmm. matter what's happening, what happening with the elements around us we're grounded and so it's really good to have sisters that are also grounded yes 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 because eventually what happens is those trees that are planted beside each other our roots start to intertwine mm-hmm. and we get mm-hmm. stronger together right together. and so mm-hmm. you know no matter what winds come storms comes whatever the case may be um it's going to take a lot to blow those trees down or to move those right. trees 
because they're connected at the root. And that's probably the problem. A lot of people are connected at the branches. Mm -hmm. And, you know, thinking that I didn't reach out and touch you, but what what's underneath all that? Mm -hmm. How are we connected at the root? Um, So I think, I think that's an important thing for us to remember in making these, these covenant relationships and looking at how we're connected um, and what that connection looks like and how does that connection look, you know, with God and to God. Um, Amen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amen. That was good right there, bro. Almost. Amen. Prophet. That was actually real good. Look, <laughs> <laughs> that was. Look, I'm gonna have to write that down. That, oh, yeah, that's real good. Put it in your memoir. In your memoir. <laughs> put it in your memoir. We won't say it. It is. Yeah. Nice. I, yeah, yeah. I ha- I'm glad that you're here because the people who are chiming in need to see covenant relationship build to the point where you have no choice but to giggle. I have tried mm. with you. It's just like the day when I called you, and I could be transparent. I had asked Sophia a question a couple of weeks ago, and mm-hmm. she got off the phone, and I brought it up today. And I also mm-hmm. told her, you didn't answer my question because it was something I entrusted to ask her. And I know mm-hmm. God is going to give her the answer because I even went so far to tell her today she won't get married till she answered my question. Remember I said at the <laughs> wedding, I was going to stand up <laughs> and say, no. Until she answers my question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, David, if you listen, you might want to tell your woman to come on here and <laughs> let God use her. But I say all that I to say. I believe God will give me the answer, yes. I say all that to say that when you are in covenant, true covenant, it is hard to walk away from a good, good relationship. People can agree to disagree, okay, mm-hmm. because it happened all through the Bible. People were at odds. But the good thing is a covenant relationship, you 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 work through it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, everything that I need is is wonderful when it's connected to another sister that's helping me build up the kingdom of God. It's like you and I mm-hmm. talked before when I was saying the number two, mean an agreement, mm-hmm. and you were saying the buy about it. And, and, and that was a wonderful example because the further you went in it, the deeper I thought that's the most important thing, us connecting as women in the body mm-hmm. of Christ, being those chicks. You know, and a lot mm-hmm. of times you are going to have people who are kind of, like you said, 15 degrees different. Well, I appreciate mm-hmm. the 15 degrees because even if I'm higher or lower, lower I'm going to get something mm-hmm. out of it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I just, you know, just like I was telling you about the young lady I had here, I had Wilma Lewis here, and she took pictures like I've never seen before in my life. Mm-hmm. Because remember, I told I you, but she it. comes back and I, yeah, what? Girl, you can Listen, tell me. and my face will be there. What? Okay. What? Mm-hmm. FYI, people, if you're in Greensboro, she'll be back here. She's doing a photo shoot, a pop-up. She did my, yeah. she had my daughter. Everybody who knows my daughter knows she's strictly basketball. Trina's face is mm-hmm. all over Facebook because women was able to make her feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. us being covenant sisters, she talked to me at a way because my answer to everything was no. But she ignored me and took some <laughs> pictures. She ignored me when I told her I wasn't putting that dress on. She ignored mm-hmm. me when I kept telling her no, no, no. But God got the glory because I can use these photos on Flyers, Hello. because I can't stand selfies. Y'all stop doing them selfies on them flyers. Y'all stop doing it. Y'all go and get you a photo shoot. Y'all stop saying you can't afford it. People are making ways to help you. Being mm-hmm. covenant sisters, get you some professional pictures. But right. the point being, her being here, she poured into me, and I poured right back into her. Because I saw mm-hmm. greatness in her. When you have a covenant relationship, you see greatness. I saw greatness mm-hmm. in Sophia, because you have patience. You're compassionate. When I had my conference and I was running around there, it took Apostle Nicole to tell me to sit down, but you had already told me to sit down somewhere. In fact, you warned me. You warned me. You said, Patricia, better sit down before she gets. But I ain't pay you no attention. See, that was my covenant you sister did. trying to protect yeah. me. <laughs> from, you know how, you, how your sister try to protect you from mom. You know what I mean? Right. And she got me. She yoked me. Patricia, sit down. I was embarrassed. Mm-hmm. I didn't even say nothing. But my covenant sister. <laughs> Had already told I tried you. to warn you. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. And that's mm-hmm. another thing. Covenant sisters, we see the yield sign. You come and do a stop doing 100. We see the sign. We're stepping there telling you, boo, slow down. But you're right. not. This is so important to have a covenant sister. I love you, Sophia. You're my covenant sister. I love you. Oh, I 
I love, I love you. you too. I love you. And, and, and David, marrying the whole family, I'm sorry. Just let them know I'm sorry. I mean, it is <laughs> what it is, you know. But before we get off of here, because, I, you know, I told you you are going to have to talk 30 minutes. I do want to put one thing out there, and I want you to flow with Okay. Most, like I said, um, I based that I'm that chick on First Samuel, and I told you about the scripture that I read, so I'm gonna read it to you. Mm-hmm. It okay. said in First Samuel 25, verse I mean chapter 25, and verse I believe it's 42. I have the amplified. It says, "And Abigail hastened and arose and rode on the donkey, and with five of her maids who followed her." And she went after the messengers of David and became his wife. When I had talked mm. to Sophia earlier, I had told her even Abigail was going to be married to a king from being married to a fool. When it was time to be blessed, she posseed up. We in the body of Christ, as women of God, we need to learn how to posse up. When we, mm-hmm. Abigail took her posse with her. She didn't leave them mm-hmm. behind. She didn't leave them behind. And even in Jude, I believe it's somewhere it says that we have to be body snatchers. We got to snatch people out of the pit. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from you. I'm flowing, ain't I? Yeah. But what <laughs> I was, Come on here. <laughs> right. But what I was trying to say, when you're in a covenant relationship, you posse up. It's important. We're too quick. We worry about people who don't like us. We worry about that. I was guilty of it. Okay, please mm. get you a mentor. My mentor showed me to stop worrying about folks not liking me and do what I have to do because it don't even matter because I'll never satisfy the flesh. So what do I mm-hmm. do? I posse up. When I'm having these conferences and I'm traveling, I got a truck, we posse up. You know, mm-hmm. when it was time for you to do your trial summer, we posse it up. We came and support Indeed. you. You know, when it's mm-hmm. time for your conference, we're going to posse up. We're going to do it. Uh-huh. But a lot of people don't realize you got to posse up. Abigail married the king, but it was no competition. She told her chick, come on. Yeah, come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. come on. Let's do this. There's room in the palace. There's room in the palace. There's room right. in the harvest. There's room in the harvest for all of us, Sophia. There's room, you know. And there's nine mm-hmm. million people on this planet. There's enough people to go around <laughs> that we don't have to fight over preaching engagement or, or sinners. We don't have to fight over them. There's nine million all. people. Come on, mm-hmm. people. You're going to get your chance to preach, teach, prophesy, sing, dance. Go, I, I passed pass the mic. Come on, Sophia. I passed the mic. <laughs> you was there. Listen, you was in there. Hey, I was just like, okay, amen, go ahead over there. I see you. Uh, I'm so with it. I'm just saying. We just don't <laughs> understand posse up. And you know the funny thing about it is gangs do it. Gangs do it. They gangs do it. Come on, you know, I, mm-hmm. I'm i not even going to put pass out there. But gangs do that. They stick. They stick. We must, I'm not going to put it out there. You can fight in the family, but we mm-hmm. posse it up. We posse it up. Mm-hmm. We would bathroom you. We would wait for you in the bathroom, clip the lights off, beat you to the right. and cut the lights on and walk out. Posse it up. Why can we not as women of <laughs> Okay, I'm telling you. Come back. Uh uh-uh, Come back to this side of Jordan. Listen, come back. <laughs> Abigail took them with her, five of them, her handmaids. Mm-hmm. And I believe handmaids, now you, you're better at this than me. Handmaids were the women that served her, correct? Correct. Mm-hmm. So she took yeah. women that served her to a better life than what they had mm-hmm. because they were there mm-hmm. with her when she made a choice to go meet this man that was coming to annihilate her whole family. Mm. She, she that chick. Mm-hmm. You that chick. She that chick. She that chick. Yeah. yeah. Posse up. Posse. Up. So before right. y'all run out and get a T-shirt to say posse up, me and Sophie <laughs> gonna do it first. <laughs> Listen, all right. <laughs> Exclusive. Exclusive. Yeah. We about to put like yeah. nine, ten, eighteen on it. Exclusive. See what I'm saying? We posting up in the new year. How about that? See what I'm mm-hmm. How about that? Hashtag five seven seven nine. And that's the perfect point. I forgot. To, that's what we had talked about. Women of God. If yeah. you're, and men of God, if you're on the phone, please tell your wives and you, my, stop rushing the 2019. Stop. Right. You're not even allowing God to do just because it hasn't happened. You need to check and see why. Where are you? Where are you at? Because mm. when you have a covenant relationship with your sisters, they will let you know. 
2019 not even here. We still got to finish 2018. We still got some people we got to get delivered. There's some prayers mm-hmm. we got to say. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's some things that we got to stand in the gap for. The Bible tells you don't be anxious for anything. You know? Mm-hmm. Posse up and realize take this last quarter of 2018 and mm-hmm. get get yours. Because you you talking about 2019 like you already defeated. Mm-hmm. So where you coming at partners? Where you coming at sisters? Let you know you're not defeated. You're a victorious person. You're an overcomer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, come on. I'm not. I'm not looking mm-hmm. to 2019 yet. I'm looking forward to October 13, 14. How about that? Hello. All right. <laughs> Talk about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Right. I'm looking forward I'm to it too. Yeah, I'm gonna meet you there. I'm gonna meet you there. Okay. That sounds okay, we, good. We forget we on the air. Okay. So. No, I'm right. Coming back, I got two points. I got two little things to say about what you no, said. No, and, I, got um, I, I, got I think it's getting close. Me. Okay. You need your opinion. No, um, so fine. two things really, really quick about what you said. So um, mm-hmm. I love Jesus, but you know sometimes I frequent Beyonce. So um, the the line from her song. Uh, Call my girls and put them all on the spaceship is what came to mind when you're talking about Abigail. And um, call my girls and put them all on the spaceship. So that just says to me that I'm going somewhere, but it's higher than where we are now. So when we on, get now. there, like when I get there, you coming too. Absolutely. And that, now that's a covenant relationship for real. Like, are we mm-hmm. all going up? If I'm coming, mm-hmm. I'm com- like, this is no, we, there's no crabs here. You know, mm-hmm. no crabs in the bucket. We are mm-hmm. lifting, reaching down, lifting up a sister. And, you know, oftentimes it ain't even a reach down. That's another vision mm-hmm. that needs to be changed. It's not a yeah. reach down or reach backwards. It may just be reach to your side. Mm-hmm. Or it may that? be reach for like push forward, right? Yeah. Um, right. Because it's like we, we're moving, we're forward, you know. Um, forget those things which are behind. We're pressing forward towards that forward. mark. Mm. Forward. Um, and then the other thing that you were talking about, about um, people still still being focused on, you know, what we got, about three, four months left in this year? Three? Mm-hmm. three something like that? No. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I, I believe, and, I, you know, the number nine came to me, and I believe that, you know, it's a time for us to consider, you know, what will happen next year and be strategic about it and ask God, give us strategic vision um, and goals like measurable goals that mm. we can work towards in this new in this new year. Well, while this new year is happening, right? So it just happened, just started yesterday. But let's move forward because nine is a divine completeness, right? Mm. It's the meaning of finality. So what are some things in life that need to be complete that we really hadn't started but we need to complete? So let's, you know, let's focus on those things and, and what that is. And I and I believe that you know, God will definitely give you that. Um, True. And then not only that, but you know, when that happens, you know, as that completeness could be a lot of things, right? What, what relationships, right. what covenants are not God's covenant? Hello. True. True. You know, everything that you're attached to don't mean it's God. True. Many will cry. Many, many said, Lord, Lord. Many. 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 All right. Mm-hmm. The righteous shall scarcely make it in. That's what the scripture tells me. So, hello. Mm-hmm. And then he said, you know, even the ones that's like, I cast out in your name, Jesus. I, I prophesied in your name. I healed people in your name. But what was your relationship? Come on. Be- well, yeah. And that's, I mean, really, that's what Jesus was saying. Because mm-hmm. depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. Like, we was never friends. Never. We were never, never in covenant. Mm-mm. Mm. Because Who their hearts you? were far from him. Mm. Mm. So I oh think that it's a time for, um, just for us to just reevaluate, like, not just the who we are just in life and what we're doing, but who are we with God? Um, who are we with the sisters that we're connected with? And if we're not fully connected yet, believe in God, mm-hmm. it's going to happen. It is going yeah. to happen. And, you know, and there is a one that's like, you know what, I didn't even know. Like, you talking about me singing, I promise you, it's clearly, if it sounds good, it's on the anointing. But nonetheless, um, I'm going to just use it as an example right now. So, um, <laughs> but, you know, 
in in that vein, you can say, okay, Sophie, well, I'm having, you know, this this service mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be. Um, and then mm-hmm. I say, now, I, I, I am not a psalmist. That is not my anointing, so I'm going to stay in my mm-hmm. lane. But if you need mm-hmm. an A and B selection, I promise you I'll find a hymn book somewhere, and I can work that out for you. But um, mm-hmm. but the we thing, I say God. that to say, <laughs> we're going to believe God. <laughs> but I say that to say simply, um, you know, seeking God and, and having clear vision on how how to how to plug that sister in. That's where yes, that's where I was going. How to plug yeah. that sister in, right? Um, and then if it's not clear, then like, okay, God will help me, but I'ma still stay connected to her. I'ma still check in. I'ma still say, yeah. Hey, I'ma still ask how are you? I'ma still, you know, inquire because that's important. Yeah. And it just is. like we check in and inquire that's what God does with us. And oftentimes because, you know, our sisters are just in a space where just like, God, none of this makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. I need to hear from you. Well, guess what? Call them. If they drop in your spirit, call them. Text them. Mm-hmm. Go by and see them. Mm-hmm. Touch, let's have lunch. You How know? about that? Even if you're on a four for four budget, I promise you we can split that meal and make it work. <laughs> see? See? I'm just saying, but that's that's covenant relationship. That's I'm I'm done. You done? No, we Maybe. need more. Yeah, more. we good. We gonna eat. We gonna right. Eat. We gonna eat. We gonna eat. We gonna eat. If right. we don't do nothing, we gonna break some bread. We gonna eat. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. As always, I've enjoyed spending time with my covenant sister. And the thing about covenant relationships, there are two types. And I'm going to say this real quick so we can go because we, mm-hmm. we bounce them. There are the types that you deal with daily. There are some mm-hmm. people you just deal with daily. You just build upon. And then there's some people that you talk, uh, I don't want to use the word sporadically, but as God, as God ordains it. Maybe I can say mm-hmm. it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the ones mm-hmm. that you talk to regularly, you know, a school BFF, you know, whatever the case may be, I have those people and I know. But then there's people like you. I know if I call in the midnight hour, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, you're going to pick up and you're going to be like, mm-hmm. what is it? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's the mm-hmm. important factor. A lot of people don't realize they have people out here that are their covenant relationships. They're just not allowing it to happen because they're not utilizing mm-hmm. it. You're not utilizing mm. what God has sent you. God has sent you mighty women of God to be mm-hmm. in your life, to help you be a better woman, to be effective and produce. That's ministry, mm-hmm. effective and produce. You That's know, it. a lot of times a good covenant sister will make you think, what is your mission statement? What is your Hello. mission statement? What is your mission? Because mm-hmm. we all have the main one, the great commission, mm-hmm. but what is your mission and your cousin mm. sister will scratch at you at the back of your neck till you be like, get off my kitchen till you sit down <laughs> and do that. I mean, this, this is real. I've been there. I've been there. And I thank yeah. God for my covenant sisters. I thank God for you. I thank God when I've been able to call you. And I thank God I've been available when you've needed me because it makes mm-hmm. us all grow together. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. Jesus is soon to come back, people. And we're trying to yeah. all get up out of here. We're trying to get up out Listen. of here. And I'm not going to get in trouble standing behind for him, before him. And he said, oh, Patrice, I just need you to to get with that that person, and you didn't. I'm, I, no, mm-hmm. no, no, it's not worth it. So today yeah. I challenge you, please, please um, take your relationship seriously. Work mm-hmm. at your relationship as much as you work at talking about the ones who don't like you. Work at the ones you know that do like you and build upon it. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, it don't matter. <laughs> it don't right. matter. It is and what work it is. on loving the ones that you might not like too much. Yeah, love them anyway. You got to love matter. them. Yeah, got to. Because I'm, uh, I'm not going go to go to hell for y'all. I'm not going to go to hell for y'all. It's not worth it. No, no, mm-hmm. no, no. No, no. No, I'd rather have an Oreo. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Not an Oreo. Well, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Minister Sophia, please pray mm-hmm. about First of all, um... Saturday the fifteenth. Where are you gonna be at, honey? Ooh, Saturday the fifteenth. My God, today. Uh, um. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Where's the flyer? Um. I the flyer is on my. Yes, you did. Um. Mm-hmm. Saturday the fifteenth. I am with the man of God. You gonna give me a second because I ain't gonna butcher his the church the name of his church. Uh, 
<laughs> While she's looking for that, we give honor to Apostle Nicole Barnes. We honor her. <laughs> we, uh, we honor the Apostle, a great mentor and a wonderful Apostle. We we honor all the people who are on the line who have been listening to. Share this with your friends and reach out to Sophia. She is a wonderful person. If you need letters, honey, um contact her. That's all I can say because I still have mine sitting here. I'm looking at it right now. I invited myself to preach. <laughs> I just want to say um, I know you already gave a shout out but I'm going to give another one because I absolutely mm-hmm. love, 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 love and appreciate the woman of God that yes. I have as a covering. Um, Apostle and... Nicole Bond, you just mentioned her name. Um, absolutely <laughs> love her. Absolutely love her support. Um, oh my God. And the vision that God has given her is amazing. And yes. I'm committed to being a vision runner. Like I say that, mm-hmm. I feel that. You know what I mean? I ain't saying mm-hmm. it because I'm on a radio show. But it's yeah. true. And it happens in action, too. Yes. That's, that's yes. the difference. Makes a difference. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And she's an awesome mentor. Oh, my God. Awesome, 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 awesome mentor. Okay. Go. All right. Saturday. Right. Saturday, the 15th at 6 p.m. Yes. Um, I'm going to be at the City Church. They are celebrating their first year um, anniversary with the happy amazing. Anniversary. Yeah, happy anniversary. Happy um, anniversary. <laughs> absolutely sweet, sweet, sweetheart. Um, man of God, Pastor Marquise Harrison is mm-hmm. um, is going to be their evening of worship. And oh. I'm super excited about it. He's asked me to be the MC for tonight. For that night, um, mm-hmm. and so it, the flight, the full flyer for the full weekend is on his page, um, Marquise M A R K Q U I S. Harrison is the last name, or you can look up the City Church, um, and they are in Burlington, North Carolina. I don't have the address offhand, sorry, but you all are smart people. You can Google it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'll be there. On Saturday, super excited about the worship that's going to happen. Um, there's an awesome woman of God that's coming, and she will be, um, I think, the featured psalmist for the night. And so I'm excited about that and um, all the other uh, minstrels that will be there that night. So I think it's going to be an awesome night. Mm-hmm. It is. It is. Y'all go out and support anniversary because all of us are going to have an anniversary. If you have a ministry, yeah. you're launching, you're thinking, you're doing there's an anniversary. I celebrate every anniversary. We celebrate. So please go out and yeah. celebrate not only Minister Sophia, but celebrate that church because they made it through the first year. And everybody who starts the ministry know that first year is crucial, crucial. Yeah. So we bless God. So we're going to ask Minister Sophia to do the honors for us to pray us off the air, please. Mm, amen. Bless God. So here we go. Hallelujah. Most gracious God, Lord, we thank you for this time, God. Lord, we thank you for um, covenant relationships, oh God, true covenant relationships, oh God, that sharpen each other's iron, oh God, that we never may be dull before your presence, oh God, that we are also always, 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 oh God, working towards, um, working in your vineyard, oh God, and working towards the assignment that you have given us, oh God. Lord, we thank you for each and every listener on tonight, those that are listening right now, those who are going to listen later, oh God. Lord, we ask that something that was said on tonight, Father God, may spark a fire within them, oh God, may stir up a gift within them, Father God, that they may move forward and feel propelled to go forth, oh God, in your work and your will. God, we pray, Father God, for divine connections on tonight, oh God. Lord, we pray right now, Father God, for each and every person to be connected to whom God has meant for them to be connected to, Father God, be it for a reason or a season or just a time, oh God, for such a time as this, for such an assignment, oh God. And so we thank you for those people in advance. God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, for all the things that you have done. God, I ask that you cover, Father God, um, the East Coast, oh God, as this hurricane is yes. coming, oh God. Lord, we know that you are a God that can change things, oh God. You are a God that can shift the direction of a storm, oh God. You yes. are a God, Father God, that had Jesus to say, peace, be still, and the the storm was calmed, O oh God. So we know, Father God, that the prayer of the righteous availed much, O oh God. And so, Lord, we pray even now, Father God, for those um, that are, are currently in the path, O oh God. We pray that, Lord, 
shift it, God. We believe that you are able to shift, oh God. And Lord, we thank you for that shifting of the storm, the natural storm, oh God. And we're also thankful, Father God, for the shifting of the storms that may be in the lives of the listeners on tonight, oh God. Lord, we, yes. Father God, we know, Father God, that weeping may endure for a night, but indeed joy comes in the morning. So God, let them be reminded on today and on tonight, oh God, that there is a morning coming. And so Lord, we thank you, Father God, for them not being weary and well-doing, oh God, but let yes. give them strength, oh God. Give them your joy that is the strength to keep going, oh, God. And, Lord, we pray right now for Elder Patrice, oh, God. God, we just thank you for the work that you have given her, oh, God, the visions that you have given her, oh, God. God, we pray even now for the cruise, um, the retreat, the conference. Look, I'm calling it everything in Jesus' name because I believe that those things will happen. Amen. 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 Um, and, Amen. God, we ask that you put your hand on it right now, oh, God. God, we yes. thank you right now for all those that are meant to be there will be there, oh, God. God, I even thank you yeah. for the divine connections that will happen on the ship, oh, God, mm, with people yeah. that are from different um, different areas of the world, oh, God, and how we will mm. connect to come together for your name, Jesus. And so, Lord, we just thank you for that celebration that is coming forth, oh, God. We thank you for the sisters that we're going to meet um, during that time, oh, God. We thank you for the planning of it being easy, oh, God, The all the help that she needs, oh, God. The help will be there, oh, God, and they will just come you, and say, what can I do to assist? And so, God, we thank, thank you God. for that in the name of Jesus, Father God, for it's the work that you have given her. And so, Lord, we give you all the praise. God, we thank you for those who are um, owning uh, are over this broadcast station, oh, God. Yes. Lord, we thank you for yes. their will and heart, oh, God. We thank you for their love and heart, oh, God to express or have an avenue, Father God, for your people to share your good gospel, oh God. So we thank yes. you for all those things, and we magnify your name on tonight. For God, you are worthy, and God, you are great. And in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Please, please share the broadcast. Reach out to Minister Russell, soon to be Hall. We love her so much, and we thank God. Amen. And again, we honor the apostle. We pray that she's listening. And even mm-hmm. if she's not, we just bless God for her anyway. Glory to Amen. God. You know our motto here, that your life shall be so salty that it makes Amen. someone else thirsty for Christ. We enjoyed That's you on tonight, and we look forward to seeing you. And you know, I'll be talking to you later anyway. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Amen. I love we you. Love thank you all. so much Uh-oh. again. Honor to mm-hmm. your upcoming husband to be yes so we thank god for the man of god david j hall amen we thank god we love you and we love you love him yes 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 love him love him love him him. amen amen Amen. we're encouraged for those of us we're encouraged Mm. encouraged. listen honey be encouraged all right (laughs) because i i told god right before i met the man of god i said lord jesus it's gonna be me and you and then soon soon suddenly god did something real quick. I tell y'all, you might tell you, if you want to know my testimony, you can hit me up. I don't mind. I'll tell you. Um, but Come God did God. a move. And so I know right. that this man of God is the one that God had me for. So I'm excited to be his wife. Honey, on, listen, here, girl. I'm on. excited to be a wife. You hear me? Because I didn't ask for it. Ow. Mm. Come on now. So I'm excited. excited I'm excited about this. Wife. I'm Honey, you. okay. Come on, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Gonna, all right. So it okay. it can happen. It can happen. Amen. Amen. That's what I know. We bless God. Mm-hmm. We bless God. Love you, woman of God. I really do. Love you too. Amen. Thank you so much. Everybody. Thank you. Anytime. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna have a good time. Everyone, y'all, please check the Facebook page and remember that we love you here at Dash of Salt, and we will see you tomorrow night. Amen? Amen. 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 Everyone have a great night. Be blessed. Bye-bye.